Inclusiveness is not an idea, inclusiveness is not a philosophy, inclusiveness is not a campaign that you run, it has to happen in individual experience. We must understand the words like society, nation, tribe, this, that, these are just words. There are only human beings. There are only individual human beings. Unless it happens in our experience, it is not a reality. To bring this dimension into education process, to bring this sense of inclusiveness into the economic process, to bring this dimension as a living process into our spiritual dimensions. If this does not happen, we will go on dividing the world because right now we are using only one aspect of our intelligence which is called as intellect. Because the nature of the intellect is such, it is a knife. You cannot use it to stitch things together. If you stitch with a knife, you will leave everything in tatters. The more effort we make in this direction, the more destructive we'll we will become we need to touch deeper dimensions of our intelligence, which is naturally unifying. This does not need any belief, this does not need a philosophy, there are practical methods with which one can dig little deeper into one's intelligence, which is not divisive, which is not about cutting and dissecting, which is naturally unifying because life is not happening from different sources, it is happening from a funda fundamental source, which is the very basis of creation everywhere. From the same planet, every kind of life has risen and every kind of life falls back without any, without any effort. This is a clear demonstration that it is happening this way. It is just that because we have become too intellectual, everything is divided. For the sake of study, initially we divide things. After some time, we believe that's how it is. In the very nature of things, this is not the way life works. The nature of life is such, without inclusiveness there is no possibility. If one does not understand what I'm talking about, keep your mouth closed and hold your nose and become totally exclusive, you will see in two minutes, this will be gone. It is only with some sense of inclusiveness it's happening, but the question is, are you conscious about it or not? If you bring or come to inclusiveness in a conscious manner, it will find expression in the world. Otherwise, it will be used only for survival process. Survival cannot happen without inclusiveness. Blossoming of the human being definitely cannot happen without inclusiveness. Our education systems have to focus on this at least to start with. Every child before they become ten years of age, they must be acquainted with the many cultures on this planet that many na nations represent. Every child should be acquainted with the f at least the few fundamentals of the five basic or major religions on the planet. If we bring these aspects into every child's life, we can see that in the next twenty, twenty-five years' time, we are much more inclusive. Maybe, I'm dreaming a little bit, maybe in another fifty years, as we say, this year is seventy years of India's independence. Maybe in another fifty years, we can start talking about independence of the world, that it got released from these boundaries and became one. Not necessarily one administration won this thing, but we can think of this because today we've come to a place where at least you cannot control the citizenry within the borders of a nation. Even if you lock… even if you build walls, they will communicate through the Facebook and the Twitter and whatever else and social media and variety of ways. You cannot separate human beings anymore. When this is happening on the social level, it is only a question of time that it needs to happen politically and in administrative terms. Above all, at least fifty percent of the education on this planet must be common. That means it must be global education, another fifty percent can be of that nationality and culture, but at least fifty percent must be globally prescribed which is common education. When I say common education, it is not about putting everybody into one box, it is just the orientation of the education can be fixed in a certain way. Content can be worked at in many different ways. If we do not start working on this right now, the way we are empowered as human beings, 
we are empowered like never before. With this kind of empowerment, division is dangerous. One small little nation can destroy the entire world. We can bomb the world, we can tag every human being, we can drone kill you, we can do all kinds of things to you. So it's not far away that somebody will start using such things unless we breed inclusiveness into every child. We have to bring this into our children's minds. If this has to come into their experience, we have to live that way, there is no other way. Let's make this happen.